Uh, <laughs> it's all getting very exciting. The tea button. It's like Stranger Things in a pot. Just cover your bottom. Hi. Hi! All right, James? Hello. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Today, we are doing a giant Kit Kat. Four fingers! Oh, Four yeah. fingers of delicious Hopefully. chocolateness. <laughs> well, you might be able to hear a gentle humming in the background. I thought it was a fly there. Check this out, right there, on the table, is an actual, we've never done this before. We're taking it up a notch. So basically, it's a notch one. you can temper chocolate. I saw a can of like, temperatures you get it right, milk, dark chocolate, and like, milk different ways. This does it for you, and it's quite loud. Mm. So it takes a while. Mm. There it is. So Look that, at that. That's its four finger goodness, right there. Has it got like a hashtag on it? Hashtag my break. Oh wow, we're not even being sponsored, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. We can still get the snap though, right? Yeah. Let's have a look. There we oh. go. They use mashed up chocolate, the Kit Kats that don't make the production requirements, they don't chuck it out and waste it. They recycle it with the wafers and make the spread that goes in between that holds the wafer together. That is quite ingenious. Yeah, but we're just gonna use chocolate spread and wafers. Yeah. So let's go shopping. On the road again. On the road to the shops. We don't actually know how big this is gonna be. Um, Could be a two finger. Or a four finger. How big's your break? <laughs> that's, that's the question. That's the question. Yeah. That's a loaf pan. What about those things? Pyrex. It's too curved, that, isn't it? It's a storage bin. Oh, mate. It's a storage bin with handle. It's got a handle for peace of mind. There you go. <laughs> for one ninety nine. Bargain. <laughs> you have to walk through it. There you go. There you go. Okay, 1.2 kilos. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> there it is. Rectangular wafers. So maybe a jar per butt tub? Four? <laughs> have a break. Break my arm, this basket. <laughs> We're back from the shops. We have got, hopefully, if we get to this stage, enough card to make a wrapper with white paint. Kick that trays. Yes. I can't believe how good these are. This is the tempering machine. Are you ready? Oh, wow. <sighs> so we've set the temper machine to milk chocolate mode. This all sounds very exciting, mate. It does, right? It might not work. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually warming up. Uh, and it takes 45 minutes to warm 45 up. 45 minutes, so we're going to do about three times. Or yeah, four times. so we are going to be, you know, hopefully we can get enough just to get that initial layer in there and then we'll work around that. But it's going to go in there and you use 10% of the chocolate to seed it, right? Yeah. So that is melted. Add the further kilos. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we, we know what we're doing. Hey, so much maths involved, this is crazy. My head hurts, it's <laughs> Saturday, I'm not supposed to do maths on no, Saturday. No, no, like, uh, we could just eat Kit Kats on camera, that'd be fine. Why didn't you say that from the start? Then? Yeah. I think this is taking quite a while. It's um, going to be a slow process, <laughs> isn't I it? Think, yeah. But this is what the pros use. This is like proper chocolatier territory. But it's in there, it's getting, you can see it's trying to do its thing. So what we're going to do, the chocolate is going to go in, first of all, just the base. And then we're going to make the wafer layers up by stacking these. And I've just broken them, they're quite delicate, but we can wedge them together, these layers, with the chocolate spread, right? So we'll get one and we'll know then the consistent height for all of them. Because if we go too high, we were talking about this, weren't we? If we we're go gonna... too high, it, will it won't look right. Yeah, we're going to assemble our wafer, chocolate spread, wafer, chocolate spread yeah. combo. To the raft, as you <laughs> to, the, yeah, to the required height. Yeah, and then plonk it on top of the chocolate, hopefully. What were you saying? Well, going on our chocolate melting experiences. <laughs> we uh, normally just slam a bowl. Yeah, slam a bowl and a bit of hot water, and we'd probably have a couple of kilos ready by now. We would, yeah. It'd um, be steaming, it'd be hot and crazy. Yeah. Thought, oh, let's try temperament, just be a bit professional. Yeah, it's, it's a slow process. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, here we, are, here we are. We'll see. But 27.6 degrees? <laughs> it's gone up by like 0.2 degrees. You need to get to 42. <laughs> oh. Right, we've just realised. I just found this in the box. <laughs> <laughs> so you stick that down and that might make might, it warm it might, up. Yeah, it might heat up a bit quicker. <laughs> we've now got a sauna rather than open top oh, bus. 28.1. 28 oh, there yeah, you I'm go. Flying oh. now. Look at oh, that. Thought, yeah. <laughs> it's probably really hot going, what the hell is going Let's on? See about that oh, this is going to spin at 29. Here it comes, 28.9. 29. 29. I believe that. What spin. Joke. Why isn't it spinning? Oh. Oh, wow. It's spinning. Oh, I've just got to get in there and show you. Look, it's spinning. 
Now we can add another 90% of the total capacity. Ah, all right. a bit of a lid. <laughs> Just needs a lid. Mind blown. Well, that's kicking out some serious heat now. That's actually quite angry. I can feel Ooh. like I'm getting a suntan off it, mate. <laughs> so we're just breaking up 90% more chocolate. And oh, look at this. This is amazing. Lids on. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah? <laughs> I'm sort of scared. No. <laughs> Hammers, what are we doing, mate? We need to make the inside of our Kit Kat. I mean, that was a general question. Like, what, <laughs> what are we doing? So we're going to build a raft using mashed up mm -hmm. wafer a melted chocolate spread. So that's just like the Kit Kat factory does. And so we're gonna do it in our own homemade, cheap, lower budget way. That is my electronic food processor grater thing. Yes. So we're gonna whiz up some wafer? It's gonna, gonna go down like a deck of cards, mate. I've got the cheese grater attachment. Is this yeah. gonna go for it? I'm gonna get like splattered everywhere. It could, I'm not sure, mate. Let's, let's go ready? for it, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Have you got something I can put in? So uh, no, just use your hand. Just oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, okay. what's going on? Alright. Yeah. This scared me. James off camera like, no seriously, have you actually got something that's not going <laughs> to break my fingers off? Watch this. Ready? Ready? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> We're making the, the filling that's going to go between the, the spreads in the wafers. Ah, oh. that bit of chocolate spread. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> Wow, that's possibly the coolest thing I've ever done with wafers. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else have you Maybe done with the wafers? Maybe the second time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright kids, sorry. <laughs> Mr Lewis, what are we doing? Well, we got the whizzed up wafer now, and uh, we're going to melt up the chocolate spread to create the paste. Ooh. In it goes. <laughs> Taking all traces of foil off of the jar, otherwise... Mike waves do not yeah. like foil. <laughs> What's your hand? <laughs> look, look at that. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, all right. <laughs> <laughs> My banksy. So let's not that. wear it. Oh, look. That's cool. In. Let's mix it it's up. It's like dust. This is it. I think whilst it's still a little bit warm, we should like start to wedge it together. I think we should get spread in. So let's raft. Setting up for the raft building shot. We're kind of in a tricky situation because this is going to dry and not be very clingy. And then this is just beaked three times, which means, James, the seed. The seed. <laughs> this is going to slowly, we'll have to press the T mode. T, temper. What's temper one? Yeah, Whoops. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do we know what we're doing? Um, okay, uh, temper yeah. one. And then we just press enter. No, that's it. That's it, okay, cool. Oh yeah, it's lowering the temperature. Is that what we want, is it? I think so. Uh, rafting then. Let's raft it. We are going to take a wafer, and it doesn't matter if it breaks a little bit, but we can join them together and make a pile, we don't know how high yet, using our homemade Kit Kat crust. How? <laughs> that was a terrible yell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> we can push it. <laughs> this is a joint effort. Well, let's just do one and show you so you haven't got the pain of doing this a billion times like we have to. Oh yeah, so you can see compared to our container, we might need to go a few higher, but we'll show you that in a minute. So we now know we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wafers in each one, so probably about four or five rows times four. That's four. Nice. It's going to be worth it. It's going to taste good. I feel like you're shouting. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the tampering machine makes your hearing go like, what? It's like a constant drone. In your, I don't know if the microphone's going to pick it up. The tampering machine is like yeah. a constant... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if you heard that. It's all getting very exciting. James is washing his hands. We've just built a whole raft there. We have got one finger of waferness done. This is good. And the most important thing, Jiminy James, <laughs> The this just beeped, which meant it says remove seed, which is any other lumps of chocolate, but we don't know. Is that some... <gasps> oh, oh my wow. god! Is it lump free? I think that is lump free, man. Oh no! Oh, no? no? Is it not? Oh, oh my god! Goodness. It's not lump free at all. But it does say to remove it. I don't want to remove that amount of chocolate, mate. That's a uh, lot. That's half our batch. Not... <laughs> what do you want to do? I don't know. What do they do? 
Find out in the next instalment of the Chocolate Tempering Guys. Da, da, da. Okay, folks, we don't really want to be doing this. This is um, the lumps of the seed that have not melted fully. Um, kind of supposed to like just discard it, but we're going to use it in our second batch. It feels wrong, right? I'm not wasting chocolate. Oh, no, no. My wife would kill me. The most important step out of all of this is we're going to build up to the moment when we press the T button. Ooh, we don't yeah. know what it does. We don't know what it does. <laughs> you press the T button and I think it's going to be ready. It will say ready and it's going to beep and then we get excited. Yeah. Welcome to the wafer making workshop, ladies and gents. First, clasp your wafer in your right hand. Clasp it. Then, your spatula in your left hand. Spatula. Using your chocolate spread and wafer mixture, spread it over your wafer and repeat. Spread. Repeat. <laughs> you Just... should end up with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, a minute ago, away from the wafer making workshop, sorry about this, it made the most aggressive making beep ever. It was like, beep, beep. And it says it's ready. And it's in temper, James. Do you know what that it's means? Angry. It's angry. <laughs> <laughs> this in here now is tempered chocolate. Oh, it does oh, look glossy, doesn't it? It does look good, doesn't it? It does look yeah. good, yeah. So this should be enough for two fingers, which we'll finish off doing, and we'll get to that now and pour it. And we can make another batch. Oh, make it rain. Dance for me. As crazy as that temper machine's been, right? One really good point about all of this is that we can still do wafer club and that's going to sit in temper. Well, if we've done it right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could be horrendous. Oh, oh. look at that. A spatula. Oh, scrape it. Scrape <laughs> it, Jimmy. Scrape it. Scrape it. We turned the machine off so you can probably hear us. It just feels like we've just been shouting all the time. The whole time! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, we're going to do four bases now. We've only got some of the uh, bits done anyway, but this is a, the tempered chocolate. So we're going to pour a little bit in. That should be plenty, I think. And we just want to try and get as much on my dining table as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and the really cool thing I was thinking is, with it having the handles, we can now kind of do this thing where we're like... Shake, shake, shake. shake. shake <laughs> so like, we're gonna like, tip it. And then just cover your bottom. <laughs> I feel like I'm cover your yoga. bottom in chocolate. Yeah. It's always a good Saturday night. Oh yeah, that's sitting on there nice. It's just sit, it's just touching it. It's delicately going, yeah, hey. This is quite sensual, James. <laughs> I accidentally touch hands and that wouldn't be a problem right now. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> There we right. go. So okay. We've got a nice rim around the edge. So the aim is to pour chocolate over that goes up the side, soaks into any middle and hopefully does the bottom. Shall we go? I hope we've got enough. That's quite therapeutic. That's quite a nice side. Is that a nice ripple? Yeah. Ooh. All right. Cool, so I can start to get a little bit of a spread on with that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we might need more chocolate, but this is going good. It's just a case of getting this locked in and repeating this over and over. Okay, so we're just carrying on with this chocolate now. Right. Can you hear that Have you left the chocolate spread in there? I don't know. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I melted some chocolate spread up and I walked away. <laughs> I just walked away from it. Mate, I can smell it. Oh my gosh. Oh sh it's black. It's like Stranger Things in a pot. Well, we only needed one. The oh. fire extinguisher. Uh, what window's open? All right, we'll, 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 we'll be back. <laughs> Let's not put that in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's still smoking. <laughs> some high tech stuff now, guys. We are using a tripod box and we're using it to Make a straight line. Make a straight line because we don't have anything else. Nothing like a bit of arts and craft. So we're gonna paint this? Yeah. <laughs> but the thing yeah, is, we, can, we only need to fill in the white, don't we? I'm rubbish at this sort of thing. We've gone for the well-known cartoon character. Top Gun. <laughs> oh. so we nailed the tempering this time. <laughs> no bad tempers here. Oh. 
I reckon just a little bit like that at first and then we yeah. can... Oh wow! I reckon we've got enough there. I <laughs> thought the most instruction manual is covered in chocolate now. This is great. We're just getting it up. Just as long as it's covered, this, this is enough anyway. Because we can sit it into a big old base. And for that, James, we need uh, more chocolate. More cho <laughs> Hello. Uh. All right. The stage we think is nearly set. <laughs> Getting a bit nervous now. Yeah, we're at a point where the fingers are in the fridge and we kind of want them to set a teeny bit more from the drop out. Hopefully they drop out. Yeah. This is the last temper and it's just about ready. So that is going to go into something special. So this is what we're going to use as kind of like another mat or raft. Yeah. The chocolate will go in that we're just tempering and then we'll sit them all in, set it, so we might be able to snap one off. Snap the, yeah, when you take your break. Yeah. We're going to get it down because it sets pretty quick. We only need a really, really thin layer. So the fingers will sit in there and bond together and that's just something to link it. I think if you push down there, it will come out. Literally just push on there. Push it. You oh, you can see these little air bubbles. Oh. All right, shall I get my hand ready to catch it? Is it not done? No, no, it's doing. It's, it's dropping. Oh my gosh. We just don't want it to smack on. Oh look, see? That one side's falling out. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Right. Oh, that has got a nice shine. That's one of the bars in there like that. Oh, we've got to do that three more times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, that is awesome. They're quite, yeah, we need to push this together. But then again, we don't want it too high, do we? All right, so now we've got to get this <laughs> into the fridge. It's really messy. It could all spill out, but I think we're just going to go for it. My fridge doesn't like it. It's beeping at us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was close. Oh. You should always measure your fridge before you do giant food. It's like a murder scene of chocolate. There's like handprints all over my fridge. Carnage. We were going to try and brand the top and we spent about half an hour earlier in the shops trying to find these magnetic alphabet letters, which you can get pretty much everywhere when you don't want them. <laughs> but I've just found three on the side of my fridge. This is genuinely the only letters there. And it's an A, a T, T and a P. <laughs> Because so it's now a top pat. Yes. What if we soak them in like hot water or something to just increase their temperature and then just press them lightly into the surface? Yeah. Try Chocolate hates water, but... Well, in that case, it should be great. Yeah, great. <laughs> it's not something I do every day. <laughs> we're giving them a wash anyway. We're having a little moment where we're sort of thinking to ourselves, we've made a giant Kit Kat that's got a top cat wrapper on it. We're probably going to put pat on it. <laughs> but we've had a lot of fun. And that's the main thing about these giant foods. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! That's like trying to catch fish. So we're going to just try it with one letter. I don't know if this is going to work. No, it's too cold. It's too cold. I mean, maybe leave it on there for a little bit. All right, just before we unreveal the... Unreveal? <laughs> we realised the letters, they didn't work. No. Uh, the, the magnets were making marks on it, that's fine. But thank you to everyone that's uh, recently joined us and supported us on Patreon. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm really trying to get James to come on board and we can make so much more content. So, so please, much, so more. much more. There's some very exciting plans. So anyone that's supported uh, me on Patreon, thank you so much. Links down below if you fancy helping out. Exciting times. James? Yes. Shall we see it? <laughs> Look, this is the Top Cat. The Top Cat. So those of you that are old school and know the way Kit Kat was packaged, that is it. I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm so happy with how that looks. Yeah, man. Like from afar, it just looks like we're really short. And I mean, that's true, but, uh, <laughs> but it just looks amazing. It gets scale. bigger though. Is you, yeah. You... Oh, wow. Like just to the, Is it like, like a normal Kit Kat over here? Yeah. You're just walking down the street with like an oversized mobile phone I cover. Back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, I mean, now you've just gone, but. Oh. This has been a test. I couldn't get hold of tempering chocolate in time. So that's why it's not been the most ideal finish, but we've loved experimenting with the machine. It's looked awesome. And we will probably revisit this with the actual correct dimensions because we've kind of winged it. I was over the moon with it, right? We've winged it. We have winged it. As per giant food standards. Yeah, top cat styley. Okay. The do you want, moment. Do you, you, do you want to 
Do you want to rip it open? You're allowed a Kit Kat, but you're only allowed one. They always open like that as well. Portion pizza. Oh! And they always have duct tape on them. Yeah. <laughs> and then, go, for it. Right go for the finger. Oh, this is the moment. Oh, yeah! Three, two, one. Why you call it a top cat? Oh my gosh! <laughs> it was like one of mine fell out. Ah! Oh. We need a knife, man. We do need a knife. Should we do this properly? Yeah. Should we start? Bit right, take two. <laughs> Action! You were a bit crazy there. Yeah. Aren't yeah. You? <laughs> I think it's kind of relief. <laughs> what the f have you done to that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Straight down through there, mate. Straight through your chopping board. In your work set. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, hang on. oh my gosh, look at that. I think we nailed that. That is superb. Would you like a slice? No, actually, no, I hate Kit Kat. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't a Kit Kat. This is a Top Cat. Top Cat. <laughs> mm. Is it good? You kind of yeah. ex exhaled a lot. That's that's the sign of. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that's good. Jeez. You got the hazelnut. Got the Nutella in there as well. Just stick Nutella. It's fine. Wow. All right. So uh, if you fancy rolling back the years, having a playlist marathon, uh, checking out the giant food from years ago, our amazing hairstyles, some of our first attempts, uh, it is totally worth it. And actually, some of the requests we get um, have already been done. But we will revisit them. Like the Rolo, one of the very first ones we did. It's on the to-do list. It's got to be done again. Yeah. Have you tried the middle? It's really good. Oh. <laughs> you're not letting in a tramp. <laughs> oh, you're the tramp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're the lady. <laughs> um, <coughs> before we go, Jimmy, and you head back to your lovely home. Yes. We are changing the giant food playlist. In fact, if you're on it, you might already spot it already. It is now called... The Super Size Guys. Yes. Because of the Super Size stuff. It's what we do. And we don't want to just do food. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. But with your help on Patreon, again, to plug it, or even just by watching more of the videos, it just really helps us grow, and we want to try and do some really cool stuff, and probably gonna need somewhere bigger to do it, with some plans in progress, right? That's it, to bring bigger and better entertainment. Oh, super-sized top cat entertainment. <laughs> That's it. So, check out the rest of the playlist, keep the ideas coming, and if you can support us in any way, please consider doing so, because it's some very exciting times ahead. Ciao for now. Check your level player, no matter what your style, the kitchen's for me, Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. Daddy, it's not a Kit Kat. It is a Kit Kat. No, it's not. It's what? a top cat. It is a top cat, yes. You're eating a cat. Congratulations.